Hi to you, I'm Matt Groves. Thank you for watching ABC 36. Many across the country are pausing to remember the lives lost on this 15th anniversary of September 11th. Here in Lexington, many gathered downtown for an interfaith service at St. Paul's and to march to Phoenix Park. ABC 36's Diane Gerstenfeld has some of the reflections felt by law enforcement at the memorial service today. It's our top story tonight at 11. It's an anniversary you don't want to remember. I just remember it being more of a, I kind of can't believe this is happening moment. I was in school, in, uh, in class. Uh, things could just kind of stood still. For many, like Lexington firefighters Keaton Reeves and Brian Johnson, the years since have gone by fast. 15 years is a long time, um, but in my head at least, it seems like it was just yesterday. At an interfaith service at St. Paul's Catholic Church, dozens gathered to remember the nearly 3,000 people who died. They then marched to lay wreaths at Lexington's police and firefighter memorials to honor the 72 law enforcement officers who paid the ultimate sacrifice. They paid tribute to the only known Kentuckian to have died on 9-11, Petty Officer Edward Thomas Earhart of Rowan County, who was working in the Pentagon when the plane hit. We recognize that um, his, uh, his loss moves all of us here in the bluegrass, and we um, wish his family and loved ones our uh, deepest thoughts and prayers. And for many, it's a day that forever changed the nation and inspired vigilance and bravery. I think that we prepare. I think that we try to understand that there's not anything too big that can happen. Put myself in their shoes um, in this profession. Uh, what I would have done, it's um, a legacy that I try to live up to every day. In Lexington, Diane Gersenfeld, ABC 36 News.